hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm a literal witch aisha it's been a while since i've done a tbr but today i felt like doing one it's the first of november and i i have some books that i'm really excited to read this month so i've decided that i'm gonna read my vampire shelf that's what i'll be doing in november i actually have a few other books that i want to finish that i already started so i'm gonna attempt to finish those they're almost done or halfway through so i'm gonna mention those real quickly at the end but the books that i want to focus on are vampire themed books that's on the shelf right here i i've read twilight multiple times i've already read twilight and midnight sun actually i've not completed midnight sun shit i do need to finish that so i've already read twilight this year um not any of the other books in the series but i've read twilight and i'm almost done with midnight sun can't, why did i stop reading that again i can't remember why but i'm gonna read the vampire books on my shelf that i have not read as yet so let's get into my tbr and i'll talk about the books that are on here that i haven't read as yet first up is dracula i already started this yesterday i started this yesterday on halloween i read three chapters and uh, I'm liking it so far it's so much fun usually i'll listen to these older books in audio version but i'm actually enjoying this reading this one i'm switching between the audiobook and the physical book because sometimes i'm too busy to pick up the physical book and i want to keep reading so that's what this is what i'm currently reading right now and uh, i'm liking it so far i've read portions of dracula stories before like in the past but I've never read the book to completion, so this is my first time reading it. The next book that I plan to pick up is a Slayer. I recently finished the Buffy the Vampire Slayer series about two days ago, so I can finally read this now. I hated the final season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The final two seasons, actually. The more spoiler alert, if you have not watched the series as yet, just mute for like two seconds. <laughs> the final two seasons the moment she got with spike i hated that series the only reason i kept watching was for willow because she's just such a badass witch i love her but the whole spike thing kind of ruined the series for me uh, uh, definitely one of my top five worst season finals ever but i'm gonna read the slayer series i cannot quite remember where uh this picks up or what it's from like i don't remember exactly but i know it's not about buffy so, oh this picks up right after the ending of buffy device vampire Day, i think because it says no one is prepared for when the chosen one becomes the chosen lot because buffy the vampire slayer again spoiler alert <laughs> ends where there's multiple slayers and not just one per generation anymore so this will have i think multiple slayers in it i'm not sure if it will center around one specific slayer but i'm really excited to read this i'm assuming it's a series so if it is i'm hoping it's good and i'll have a new series to read next i'm going to attempt these again i've attempted reading the vampire diaries series several times and for some reason i just couldn't get into it i also try watching the television series but again i couldn't get past episode one and there's nothing wrong with it it's twilighty it's what i would enjoy i don't know why i couldn't so i'm gonna try again um the only two physical books i have is Hun the hunter volume one and volume three i need the one in the middle i need volume two and this is not even the start of the book i have the awakening which is the very first book in the series on uh, i have it in ebook format so i'm gonna get the rest of them in ebook i don't think i'm gonna buy them i mean if i go to the bookstore i'll look if they're there for cheap because that's why i got these two because they're there for really cheap so if i find them really cheap then i'll buy the physical book but i don't think i'm gonna spend like money on buying the physical books because there's 13 books in the series and i don't know if i like it as yet so i'm gonna read the first book in ebook format and then i'll buy the rest if i really enjoy the series yeah it was a bit confusing actually i couldn't figure out where the series starts or what to read first so i had to go on youtube and watch a few videos 
to guide me through how and where to start i'm also seeing more than 13 books but i think 13 is in the original book series i'm not sure how it works actually so i'll figure that out as i go maybe i should vlog my experience of reading it and also watch the series simultaneously i'm not sure how i'll do that but that would be fun content i think i might do that actually yeah but i'm hoping that i like this because i really need a new vampire series to obsess over nothing will be twilight but and then there's this, the um, Mark, the Mark series. I started this. I don't remember anything. This was like two years ago, um, but uh, I can't remember if I liked it or if it was good, honestly. But it was a gift. And this again is a next long series. I think there's maybe like fifteen books. I'm not sure but they're all at a bookland which is the bookstore that I normally go to so if I like it I'll definitely pick up the rest because it was fairly cheap it was a couple hundred dollars so I'll buy it the rest of the series if I enjoy this but I'm hoping to start reading this I'll just start over even though I was quite some ways through but I'll just start over because I don't really remember it and yeah again a new long it's it's, it's vampire right it's it's about vampires right I can't remember I have it on my vampire shelf, shelf, so I think that's what it was about. Or was it just about magic and magical things in general? Oh, it says Twilight meets Harry Potter, so I guess it's about magic and vampires. That makes sense. So, Twilight meets Harry Potter? That's, that's quite a thing to say. That's a lot to live up to, so I hope it's good. I'm keeping with the... Buffy the Vampire Slayer theme. I also have a Angel book. I don't know what book this is in the series. I just saw it and it was $200 Jamaican and uh, I bought it because Angel was one of my favorite characters and I know there's an Angel TV series as well so I want to watch that and I'm also going to read the series. Now I may not read this this month because I need to figure out what book this is in the series and I can't read a book unless it's the first book in the series. So I'll check. This may be on my October, November TBR. I'm not sure. October is still in my head. October is a great month. And as I mentioned, I was rereading Midnight Sun. Do you see how tattered this book is? I don't know how I damaged this book so much. But usually my favorite books are the most damaged. The only reason why Twilight looks so intact, because this is my most read book. But the only reason why it's so intact is because I have a next version of Twilight. But I loaned that to a friend, Chanel Moa, my book, back anyway this is a newer version that i purchased so this was not the one that i kept reading over the years the one that i was reading over the years is pretty tattered and torn but this one looks intact because it's new this is midnight sun my favorite books are always bent which is why i would purchase my favorite book in a second copy the hardcover copy just for the aesthetic when i have the cash but because uh, the paperbacks are so easy to destroy as i was saying <laughs> i'll be finishing this i'm somewhere in the middle i'm not sure where i didn't even mark it because i think i was reading it in ebook yeah i was reading it on the going ebook but i'll finish reading this this month as well now if i have some extra time i'll pick up the twilight graphic novels again i read these a couple times for the year whenever i don't have time to read the full twilight book so i may read these as well if i have the extra time i doubt i will because that's plenty of books already but if i do I may be reading these and that's it for my vampire tbr for the month of november i do have some books that i was already reading that i really want to finish so i'm going to talk about those now real quickly the first one is my daughter vanessa the first one is my daughter vanessa <laughs> i've been i've been reading this forever since like june no, way before June. I've been reading this since like May. Yeah. I think. Probably before that. And I'm still just right here where the bookmark is. I need to get this book over with. I need to read it. It's a good book, but it's just disturbing. And I don't know why, because I read so much more disturbing things. It's so annoying. But I'm going to finish this in the month of November. I'm making an oath to myself. I will finish it the other two books that i want to complete well three the other three books that i want to complete two of them are in ebook the winter house 
I'm almost done with this. I think I have an hour left. It, I'm reading it in audiobook. So I'm probably going to finish that today. Um, it's fun. It's so much fun. It's a really great book. It's just so lighthearted and easy to read. It's a series as well. So I think I may read the other books in the series because it's really fun. I think I'm going to give it maybe a four star, if not a five. And the next book that I want to read again is another ebook and it's called What the Fuck Is It Called? Practical Magic. I'm almost done with this one as well. I think I have maybe a hundred pages left. It's a short book. Um, I'm halfway through and it's an easy read. So I usually read this on the bus in the morning. Um, I honestly could finish this in one sitting because it's it's not very wordy. A hundred pages is probably like 20 pages in an actual book. But because it has graphics and pictures in there as well, which takes up a lot of space. But I'm going to finish this this month as well. And the final book, I need to go get that. I have the physical book. One second. The final book that I'm hoping to finish this month is Kitchen Table Magic. I'm halfway through. The bookmark is right here. And I'm hoping to finish this one this month. Again, I've been just reading this slowly because it's one of those books that you kind of just study instead of like, reading one sitting and put into practice. So that's why I haven't finished this as yet. I started it like at the beginning of the year. It was a gift from Ashley. As, as well as some other stuff that's on this. My daughter and I saw sale, all gifts from Ashley. So I'm going to read those this month. And that's it. That is it for my TBR. November will be great for more reasons than one because I have so many video ideas because I have so many things that I need to be doing in November. Just created a hefty TBR, so now I have that too. But also, you should know if you're on my channel that November is National Novel Writing Month. I'll be participating in that. I have not <laughs> created a profile as yet and it's November 1st, so I'm going to do that today. But I'm going to be participating in that by editing because I have four novellas that are completed one that i completed last month and that's the one that i'll be editing this month i'm so excited i have so many things to do and i can't wait to start reading that book again it was so spicy so juicy and so jamaican i love it um my sisters are currently reading it so i'm waiting for some feedback from them actually i got feedback from two of them I'm waiting for feedback from the rest of them and then Edmond will read it when he has the time because right now he's pretty busy and I can't wait for the feedback because that will tell me if it's good or not. I know I love it so I hope they love it too but that's for another video. I'm going off on a tangent. I'll talk about NaNoWriMo in my next video and what I'm doing. I'm excited and I hope I can keep this feeling all month but that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, please. If you did not like this video, give it a thumbs down because you just wasted like 15 minutes watching bullshit. If you like random videos like these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I just make whatever I feel like whenever I feel like it. I'll see you guys in my next video.